Hi, I'd like to show you in the next few minutes a presentation of the findings on the eastern slopes of uh, Mount Moriah, where the city of David, ancient Jerusalem, is located. The yellow cut through marker that you see on the eastern slopes of Mount Moriah is our focus today. In fact, the high ridge uh, where this uh, little map is located is, is, is a zoom in. Um, this being the archaeological excavations taking place right now. And in particular, we're going to focus on the blue rectangle, which you can see at scale in this image over the uh, temple zero rooms, rock cut rooms that were discovered there in 2008-2009 and are still presently the focus of the excavation, are located. Uh, in those rooms, a, uh, a raised platform for an altar, a liquids channel for wine, blood, water that was used in the service of um, sacrifices being offered, a matseva, a standing stone that uh, still exists there today and was preserved 2,600 years ago when the wall, the city wall constructed by King Hezekiah was built right through this temple complex. Uh, and a place for grain a press as well as sacrificing and processing animals as well as a place, place to crush oil and produce um, uh, uh, oil in the press. The wall one, which was discovered about 60 years ago, uh, con now continues and we discovered these uh, continuations very recently over this rock cut room. And unfortunately, when this wall was uh, constructed about 2,600 years ago, uh, they cleared all of the artifacts that may have existed on the bedrock floor of these rooms in preparation for the construction of that wall. That wall has recently been discovered. You can see it here in this picture, and that is the city wall that exists today um, and continues north and south of this image. Uh, zooming in on the rectangular uh, room area, the focus today is on these carbon dated samples that were obtained in the excavations. On the western side here, you can see in the cut through section B, um, those samples being extracted from this drainage channel, compressed earth, uh, two sets of samples and immediately to their east another two sets of samples those samples are dated 3800 years ago uh, to 1880 uh, before the common era uh, all the way up to 1600 1615 before the common era and the upper samples dated from 1535 uh, through to 1445. now the importance of these uh, samples is that um, most likely the wall construction that you see in this image was done in two phases. The first phase would have been the wall constructed on the bedrock, and you can see these, these small placement rocks underneath this bedrock section. Um, and those small placement rocks were really uh, done to stabilize the bigger rocks that sit on top of uh, of this rock and those the stability was was needed and important because of the small um, the the, un, the uneven surface of the bedrock below and um, but over time over the 200 years or 300 years that separate these two samples uh, there would have been ground cover established over these rocks the lower rocks would have been hidden and uh, construction at some later point in time would have um, added to rocks on rocks and um, uh, this is how the extension of the wall continued to develop over time. But that suggests that there was some ground cover that was uh, established over two or three hundred years. And that ground cover is more compressed on the uh, western side and less compressed on the eastern side, but essentially ran over the rooms at at least the height of 1.2 meters and eventually concealed the rooms entirely um, in the period leading up to the construction of the wall in 2600 years ago. So we have good reason to believe that these rooms were concealed by ground cover 
from the period 3,800 uh, years ago through 3,500 years ago, um, and then in a very big gap in time to 2,600 years ago, 2,700 years ago, when the um, city wall was constructed. And uh, for those 900 years or so, uh, this area was completely out of use, unknown to anybody. And uh, the stone, the Matsaifa, that was preserved by the constructors of the wall and was discovered in 2009-2010 um, in the excavation by Eli Shukran uh, remains in place today. Now, um, interestingly, the, the stone um, coincides with the dates that Jacob announced a, a, a anointed a Matseva, a stone Matseva at Beit El, uh, according to the um, biblical time, um, 1576 before the common era, 3,500, 3,600 years ago. And then when he returned to Beit El in 1553 BCE, 3,550 years ago, he took the name Israel upon himself. And uh, the proposal is that this is the stone of Israel at Beit El in Jerusalem. The uh, interesting aspects of the uh, timing for the common dating is that the gray areas are the, uh, the areas that we're focusing here on um, uh, this information. Uh, the period from about uh, 2000, uh, 4,000 years ago through about 3,800 years ago uh, is the period of Malchit Tzedek, who was the high priest of, of Sheva Salem. Um, the name Jerusalem is thought to come from the combination of uh, Shalem, which was the name uh, given to it by Malchit Tzedek, and uh, Yira, which is the, uh, the name given to it by Abram. The combination of the two is Yira, Shalem, Jerusalem. Uh, that's where the origin of the name comes from. Uh, in the area of uh, later on, you had Isaac, uh, um, Akela Yitzchak, where Abram offered Isaac as a sacrifice around this time frame, 1750, 3700, 3750 years ago. And then later on, Jacob, uh, in his return to Bethel in the, the 3500, 3550 years ago. Uh, of course, Israel then left, uh, Jacob left with his family to Egypt and um, uh, Israel did not return for another 250 years. So you can see in the gray boxes, in the, in the gray area here, there's a, there's a decrease in the archeological activity, in the carbon dating activity uh, after that date, almost to nothing. Um, but there's active areas here, Jacob's time, active areas here, Isaac's time, active areas here in the time of Melchizedek. Keep, keep watching us. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to come up with more information, but it's certainly getting exciting. And the uh, prospect that this is the stone of Israel is um, growing more and more real every day. Thank you.